Bloop, 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 bloop. Now hang on, this is my favorite part. Is it? Yeah. You're gonna see something you've never seen before. I don't think so. This is, um, I don't know, some kind of industrial lubricant. It's filling up. You can feel it too. It, 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 people might, might not know that. The entire studio, and this is just because- Not only want... did I see what I saw before, I heard what I saw before, because you've given that same joke. Well, the, God yeah, but, damn it, man. Here's the twist, here's the twist. What? This is the next part of okay. the joke. Okay. Now, um, because obviously we emphasize um, we're trying to deliver a great product every time. You know, we know that for some of you, it's your first time at Acquisitions Intoxicated, so we want to execute on all cylinders. And that's why we have begun, we have begun flooding. Oh, thanks, Joe. We have begun flooding the entire studio. Oh, yeah. With industrial lubricant. Um, it's, <coughs> it's cleansing. Yep. Um, it is acidic, so obviously it does exfoliate. Um, I mean, I think that we're better for it. I mean, I don't think anything bad, I don't think anything bad is gonna happen as a result. Now, no. now is the lubricant Very, expensive? Scary. What's that? Scary. What? What? Yeah. Okay. No, 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 here. Oh, here. Oh, here. Was oh, it not good? I, I do it right every time. Oh, really? It's He's, like, it, like ways to get this has been years. Back. Oh, I don't know. And he I, can't I, figure out I how to put a mic on. I was That's so amazing. proud of myself because I was, I was, you know what? I don't, After five years, I'm putting it on the the way that Josh wants, and I've it's. Been editing the. Uh, Look at this. <laughs> Fucking. You've been seeing this simple. guy. <laughs> professional to my left here. You've been suffering, and I I appreciate it, Jorash. Now. Remember my first lav. Larav. Now, uh, so yes, obviously we're damp um, from the the flood, but. I think ultimately it's going to lead to a better product. The absolutely sterile environment. Um, I don't know what's going to do to these snacks, frankly, from the goo, but we'll find we'll out. We'll find out. Now, uh, let's iterate the uh, initial portion of the ritual, the antechamber. Let's enter it. Um, hello, uh, it's your internet friend, Jeffrey K. Horcrims. Uh, and however it came to be, you've fallen ass backwards into acquisitions and intoxicated Twitch's brewing program. What is its purpose, you might ask? I'm only too happy to tell you. Uh, to give you that which you already own, the art and science of brewing, I am joined, as almost always, by Eric J. Benson, Acquisitions Intoxicated Brewmaster, and oh so much more. Um, in addition... In addition... In addition, uh, he has a, a litany of names, like a, a custodian uh, of the Adeptus Custodes. And these names, I want to assure you, are laser etched... Onto my bones. ...upon his very bones. But for those of you without X-ray technology, mm. if you would like to read, uh, let me read a mere portion of these names. The Edge Benson, Azerbaijan, the Notorious EJB, and, and, and so more. It continues, oh no, it continues. That's just one long name on that side. Um, it continues throughout the skeleton. Um, and it's delivered, in, it's, you know, obviously we all um, have an opportunity to appreciate his great deeds. Um, but yes, I mean, you can see before us uh, the very instrument of our task, uh, the sacred crucible mm -hmm. in which acquisitions intoxicated bruise uh, the creations that we manufacture together. Now, uh, in that spirit, uh, what are we putting together here? This is the beer we brewed with Holly or oh, made with Holly. It's the Czech Romancer. All right, perfect. So, so you're looking at a lot of Pilsner. A little bit of Vienna, some crystal for some caramel flavor, and some special rose. Yeah, I mean, my guess is that this is going to smell real nice. Yeah, you guessed right. You you would know better than I, to be sure. Um, oh, you know what? It, you know what? It actually kicks out. I think it's just because of the slightly toasted nature of it. To me, it almost has a peanut butter. Oh yeah. Like I think it just has Ooh. the roasted grain mix. It has a it has a richness that you would not expect from some seeds, is what I'm saying. Um, anyway, obviously this is going to kill, and it's a pills. So the the grain basket. Well, actually, this is pretty full. Yeah. This is fuller than I expected. Sometimes when you do those simple ones, but I guess it is a dark, so it's got some. Uh, it's got some extra oomph in there. Oh, here now, ghost. Could you bring me the sacred vessels, uh, wherein our hops. Uh, do engage in their holy work. Now, well, I guess while we're doing that, we can have a beer. 
we can absolutely have a beer or we can start preparing the the sacred hop oh yeah Do the material yeah, yeah, component yeah, 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 yeah. all right yeah. let's grab this now i see we have two bags of sauce did we de did we decide was this like uh hop vote chicanery yeah well i mean it's just a you need know, a little bit more for your bitterness yeah, yeah. oh that's right we kind of we kind of turned up the bitterness uh for this version of the character um but no it was awesome having holly in the studio she was an absolute joy, a treat. And uh, because in the new Acquisitions Incorporated campaign, there is some impossibility, strangeness um, that involves slightly modified versions of existing characters coming back and doing crazy stuff. Now, is, would, would I be correct in saying it's the whole bag? Yep. So I, I've, I've set up all this stuff here. Is, no, it, is it basically a whole bag in each of two? I, no. Oh. No, you crazy. You bastard. What are you doing? It's 1.25. Oh, 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 I see. Okay, so I, I do need to do yep. some math. Some math. Okay. But the first part of the math is very easy. It's a bet. Is it? I, I, I'm hoping I got this first part dialed in. Maybe it's a little off. Maybe Could the bag be. isn't completely full. Well, let's find out. Maybe let's the bag is over. Let's find out what Yakima Chief is getting up to with this. Honestly, they gave us a little extra. You know what? You gotta appreciate it. Thanks. Nice work. All right, so we need about 0.2 mm -hmm. out of this other bag. Yep. Mm. Sodbuster Farms. Oh, that's right. Even though they're both saws on the back of the bags, they uh, indicate some of their local growers if you're not from here you might not know that yakima is i mean anywhere else, anywhere else in the united states we probably consider it somewhat local it's just a couple hours south uh, but that place is essentially where is it south yeah, I think so. What's Why? Like southeast? I thought it was east. It's like southeast. Oh, man. Nobody in the state um, knows where places are. It's it's confused. More it's See? more east than south. Okay. Um, but it is basically where, I mean, obviously we take advantage of it, and there's a lot of fresh hop and stuff that happens yeah. here. But this is, Yakima basically supplies uh, the nation <laughs> in terms of its... Yeah. Hop supply. It's a local product, essentially. Okay. All right, get this bad boy in her. Put this in here. All right, now I, I'm, I need to adjust this microphone strap because it's it's gotten exciting. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It's currently I'm being tantalized by it. I got. Well, I got I got a fun move. day in the neighborhood. I got to I got to move this closer. If it lasts for four hours. Call your doctor. Yeah, exactly. I need help from the medical profession. That's how crazy this microphone situation has gotten. All right, here we go. Now, thanks to the power of the wireless microphone in gray school. Now there are other issues. Uh, apparently with the microphone, but one nice thing is that I can just walk over here. Yeah, and do it Air Wi-Fi connection. Oh, fuck what? Man. God damn it. This stupid. Laptop. Oh, no, no I'm, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna click connect and I my suspicion is that it's going to come up No, this laptop just turns off the hotspot every single time we turn it on How helpful. Yeah One presumes that you you paid extra for this powerful feature Yeah well, yeah, I mean, uh, what I like is when it changes all of your audio settings just at random times. Or just restarts your computer in the middle of the screen. Yes, this also occurs. Now, are you mentioning that because it just happened? It happened, yeah, last Wednesday. Yeah, it was a real hoot. All right, but, you know, it's fine. Oh, sinking. Oh, what's all this? <laughs> Rawr. Oh, yeah, that's a lot of blood. It, great, yeah, great products. All right. Yes. 
Yes. All right. Well, listen. Uh, what what we can do while it's loading up is we can tantalize you with a very unique vision of the future. So we have another Welsh beer to try. Now, is Rascals also from your trip? Yes, Hello? that is from Dublin. And I got that because apparently it's a Yankee white IPA. Yankee? I was, like, I was like, you know what? Let's see what, let's see what they have to say about, about an American IPA. Uh -huh. Yes, now the, but, but then we have the Garage Project over here that is offering us a pickle beer. That's from, uh, that's from Chris Hull, who sent us beer in. Indeed. From New Zealand. Longtime ally uh, of the channel, Chris Hull. Which sounds bad. It sounds like it would be bad. Uh, now, the Czech Romancer, back at it once again. Start. What's next? No, you don't have to show me detailed instructions. We've done this hundreds of times. Skip. Start now. All right, now. It's already begun to growl as its dark works begin. Whew, sounds like it's taking a piss. Club, <laughs> it's going hardcore. This is like some uh, Austin Powers tier cryo it's sleep it's piss. It's a league of their own. You know, is there a lot of peeing in that? There's one scene. There's one scene. It's like the most memorable pissing never, scene in a movie. I've never seen it. I, I don't. Tom, um, Tom Hanks pisses is, for like two minutes. Yeah, they, they time it. Yeah. They give it, oh, they give a scene, to, they give two minutes of screen time over to pee? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Bold techniques. All right, well, now. if you not have a scene, a scene of League of Their Own, what's wrong with you? It comes up a lot. There's a lot <laughs> it of It does. Stuff there's I a lot seen. of one-liners. There's a lot of. It's, it's, it sounds great. Is there no crying in baseball? Yes. Is that you can't that? No, you can't even use that. You can't even you can't fucking use it. You're, you're, you're not authorized. Yeah. You haven't seen the film. Yep. All right, here. Now, so what demonic course can we chart through a, a you know, a palette that includes pickles? This is last. I say the IPAs first, then we'll let the pickles talk, and then the sour. <laughs> we'll let, we'll let the, it's a very good sour. We'll let the pickles speak. Yeah. All right, the Yankee White IPA, Citrus Plus Hazy, 5%, Dublin, Ireland. That's interesting. Yeah, it, we, would go, we would go north of this ABV-wise, just, just in, the, in market terms. Uh, just, there wouldn't be a whole lot of fives. I'm interested to see their, it's like their interpretation of like an American IPA. Well, no, no, this, this, is, this is what I'm saying. There's absolutely yeah. nothing wrong with it. I'm just saying that we would do things slightly different. Really cool color. All right, here, now, so we can, so did you visit, did you visit Rascals HQ? No, there was, like, we literally went around Dublin being like, let's get some beers for them, and we got a I had a good time. Yeah. I had a good great. time in Dublin. Yeah. I, the, like, the most memorable, there was all kinds of fun stuff there, but the most memorable thing that happened was that Bran and I went on a walk just, like, to walk around and see stuff, which I'm sure you did as well. Oh, yeah. And then it started to rain harder than I have ever experienced. Like, out of, like, out of a clear blue sky, <laughs> it rained harder than I have ever seen. We were crazy lucky. We were all worried it was going to be raining. It was beautiful pretty much the entire time we were, we were over in the UK. Hmm. Well, no, but that's, that isn't even the story. Like, I, I, mean, I got wet. Yeah. I mean, that's not, there's more to it. Oh, okay. And so we were like, we basically like, we were hoping to find some place to eat. And so we found a place to eat. Um, it is a door, like super simple, like a small, like a very small stone cottage, but it was like on a city street. So it's probably just a very old building, right? And we're like, we just have to get in here, like, Whatever they sell us. That's we what just, we're taking? We just have to go in. I don't even know what type of restaurant it is. We couldn't see. Um, had a super striking red door. And we open it. And that is the top layer. When you walk in, 
you were looking around a banister that oh, looks at a layer down. The restaurant is actually in underground. <laughs> when you walk in and you're, it's like you're upstairs, even though you came in off of the street. It was like walking through a fucking magic portal. And they were so nice. They came and like took our coats and then they sat us down there and brought us hot toddies. Like it was, it was one of the coolest experiences I've ever had. All right, now, anyway, so you can visit Rascals HQ apparently um, in Inchicor, Dublin, a, a, a district maybe. Uh, they have a world-class pizza restaurant with the freshest beer pouring straight from tank to tap. Making well, Yankee white beer. Yeah, make, making that Yankee white beer. I don't, I don't even know why I use a southern accent for yep. the Yankee beer. Yankee white beer. Wait, no. Be, it should use, be. Hold use on. Use a northern accent. Yeah, I fucking got it. Which is to say. Whoa, your it's own. that fucking Yankee white beer. Yeah. <laughs> right, fucking you ready? Jesus. Let's try it. Give me that thing. Right, yeah. Oh. Weird. I don't hate that at all. But that. That haze, like that haze bitterness, has a like an odd novel fruit underneath it. Yeah, it, it sort of tastes like a like a wheat beer. I mean, I mean that's that's basically yeah, what it's it not is, like a right? Hazy. Yeah, yeah, it isn't. We w oh, this, this isn't supposed to be a hazy. Oh no, citrus hazy. Citrus plus hazy, right? Hmm. But the like the wheat structure in there is the main thing that's coming through for me. Like it's a very solid, stable beer. But it has it's it's hitting the the hot bitterness in a really interesting way. That's a super cool one. Thanks, Ghost. Drink fresh, all right. That's really nice. And you had one too? No, I did not. Oh my gosh. I, well, I'm not even kind of right here, so. No, oh, well. This isn't here. This isn't this. Just, you should try it. It is, it is not. It's not the beer you like. Have fun. It, it's, it's, it's not your favorite beer, but you should taste it. Oh, poor ghost. <laughs> ghost, ghost had a. a a haunted look. That, I'm, I'm not a fan of hops. That bitter. Oh like, no! Hey, I, I, I love you. A hop. Hate this shit. Let's try it. Well, yeah. okay. Yeah, but, see, you see, but for us, like, we have had, like, we're blown out. <laughs> like, we have had hops. We've eaten the fucking pellets. I've chewed on the flour off my fence, right? Um, for me, that's not crazy. But for the for the for those who are not perhaps. Uh, an ally or a friend to the hop, I can see how they might suffer. Now, pickle beer. I mean, I have been drinking almost nothing oh, you're gonna but hate kombucha. This. <coughs> Cucumber dill pickle sour. It might it's be sour. okay. I don't know, yeah. Wait, that combo might be okay. Cucumber broadly in drinks is really good. Yeah. I like a cucumber gin and tonic every now and then. It works, right? I, I like gin in general. I want to drink something that tastes medicinal. Uh, I want it to work. I want to, I want to feel like I'm doing something good for my body yeah, when I drink a clear liquor. David, this is kind of not really my sinuses, but like um, I'm on blood thinners and uh, I have a CPAP machine and it blew out my nose last night. So I'm just like shooting out blood through my nose. It's pretty cool. Oh, this, like give, give this a sniff. This is going to hit you. I would have thought the direct exposure to the blood vessels in your nose. That is really pickly. It's not a theme. They, they aren't fucking joking around. But you know, go, there's a lot of cucumber goza too. The cucumber soury type vibes happen a lot, right? Ah, it's like bright, it's like the, it's cucumber as a fruit. It's like a horned melon. Well, that's fun. <sighs> hey, New Zealand, you got, you got some good things going on. Oh. That, yeah, that's not you. I like it. I'm gonna move to New Zealand. <laughs> not a fan. I got. I thought I won. I thought I defeated the sour. Is that what it is? Yep. You're right. Are you just mad about the microphone still? No. <laughs> Man. It, the nose coming off of it is so intense that once you get down to the tasting part, it's a lot of the work is done. <coughs> I 
guys. That's all. <laughs> hey, it's only gonna get better. Fuck. I really you don't like it? I like it. Crystal, I like it. Thank you. I'm a, I'm haunted by it. I love it. I like pickles though. I I listen. I'm obsessed with pickles. I just. <laughs> I'll, I mean, I'm drinking pickle juice, like right out of the ding dong. Pickle back? Yeah. I'm down to clown. It's it's the specific combination of the vinegar and then the souring, and then this really strong cucumber smell. Oh, it ain't gonna get any better. Well, I don't know. Very very good. Well, here here here. A raspberry sour. Those things make sense. Like I, I think we can do that. I think that tiny we can. Been amazing so oh, oh, tiny rebel. They know exactly what they're doing. The Welsh brewing tradition. You can't get them in the U.S. Lives. You tried? Yeah, I tried. You, they, they don't ship. Well, even if they did, our state-to-state -state shit for beer, it's like when we've had our collabs yep. with Voodoo Ranger. Like, you go into their official store, and then you say, hey, where can I ship this? Josh, mute like, me. What's that? Nothing. And you go in there, and there's like... What is it? Maybe like an, a seventh, yeah. an eighth of the country those will old, actually allow those old prohibition laws shipping. That they never got rid of. Now, someone benefited from them in their in their interim period. I mean, until very recently, and I mean very recently, Washington State controlled all hard liquor yeah. sales <laughs> through their own stores. You know what I mean? Yep. Yeah. All right, here. No, you're gonna love this. Oh yeah. You like the yeah. You like the Raz. Yeah, yeah. Smartass. Ooh. That's what I was saying. Dill, wow. Dill pickle. Um, that is tart. Pickle or, or cucumber goza is like a really, really nice thing, right? Because those two things just work very, very well together. And gozas are naturally tart anyway. This is very tart. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I suspect raspberry is a big. Is always a sharp. Bite. I love it. All right. Oh man, it's, you know what it smells like? It raspberry smell sour. Well, no, it, it actually shock like, tart. No, it, it smells like. Um, to me, it smells like raspberry, like raspberry Kool Aid. Oh yeah, have to have a taste. You're not gonna say that afterwards. Oh man, that's a really great smell. I'm just. If you had raspberry Kool Aid and didn't add sugar to it, just to. Yeah, exactly. Really we all remember these. <laughs> we all remember these dares. <laughs> no. Oh man. Well, because they're not messing around with it. I think. I. I think that they are. I think there's more work to do on the palate. You know what I mean? Like I, I thought that we had. I thought that we had defeated it. I thought we had broken. Okay. Let's drink more. I mean, you just, uh, it's like Iocane powder, just have yeah. more. Well, that, I, I, listen, no, that's, that's not how you become immune to Iocane powder. <laughs> you have small amounts frequently. You don't have, you don't have lethal amounts. That's not a lethal amount. Frequently. One beer is not lethal. If you had six of them, probably lethal. Well, let's see. 4.3. See? Yeah, see? Who knows best? I can do it. This guy. All right. Focus my power. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get in there. Yeah, I mean, honestly, your tasting note is correct. It sort of tastes like, it tastes like the powder in the pitcher. Um, with no, <laughs> and mom forgot to add sugar. That's what it tastes like. God, we used to go hardcore. When Mike and I were living together, we would make the double, we would make the double batch, same oh, amount yeah. of water. What? Double oh, sugar. double sugar? Double sugar, double bag. Mano mango. Apparently it was a limited edition wow. flavor. But that was like the only flavor that we, I, I didn't know, it's like now it's like a collector's item or some shit. We just drank it like idiots. We could be sitting on 10, $20 if we'd kept all those packets. I love this. If you think something's too sour, just remember Sweden 
They had to recall an ice cream 10 years ago that was making people bleed from the gums because it was too acidic. Jumping, Jesus, that really? That is crazy. Yeah, uh, the, one, the one thing, I don't know if it's from Sweden, I think it's, it's licorice, licorice is just a cultural thing there broadly. Yeah. I saw a picture of like vanilla ice cream. Yep with black licorice syrup on it. Weird. I think about it a couple times a day. Like, I think about it a couple times a day. I don't mind black licorice, but I love like strawberry licorice more. Yeah? Yeah. Like a red vine type thing or like Fuck more no, of a Twizzler? Like, like a Twizzler. Yeah. Cause Dude, red vines are garbage. Twizzlers are sick. Like Twizzlers, I don't know about the pull and peel. I don't know about that. No, that's a little, that's, that that's a little. Those are licorice anyways, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. What? <laughs> what, 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 what? Licorice needs licorice. Seed. Yeah, yeah. It's licorice is like black licorice, red uh, licorice. Sure. You know what I mean? Um, okay, sure. Red licorice. I like yeah, red yeah. licorice. Yeah, exactly. Red licorice is not licorice. But like it, Twizzler. Only black licorice is licorice. Yeah. But you can you can go crazy okay, on a Twizzler. Okay, red whatever you call the fucking thing. <laughs> Candy. You know yes. how it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Common. Yeah. Filth. Both, candy. Yeah. No, but you can go nuts. Like a Twizzler is a natural accompaniment to role playing. It's a natural accompaniment, for example, in a LAN party. Oh yeah. You have that. You have that sack. It's right under the monitor. Oh. It's a, it can because be, remember it was a CRT. It's it can, quite big. Okay. It can be a straw for your jolt cola. The, uh, it can absolutely. It can absolutely be a well, straw. This is a legit. This party. is a legitimate utilization of the tool. All right. I do, Groundhog, I do. I do. Yeah, but Zweck, this is also a great idea. The idea that the people they were testing it on just had gums of steel. Right. And then they scaled the product national. Yeah. And then it just ravaged people's mouths, dentists. Yeah, they, they cleaned up that, <laughs> month, that year. Orthodontists. Holy shit. Gingivitis. Reigns supreme. Creme lacrosse. Okay, Norwegian. Is that what it is, Farl? See, that sounds good. Oh, creme lacrosse. Wait, are we talking about the fucking gum killing one or the no, or no, the no? This is the I, I think licorice. Farl is talking about the licorice goo oh. up top. Did, did your mom ever let you have magic shell? The fuck is magic shell? Oh, magic shell's great. You don't have magic shell? I don't know what the hell you're it like, is. You don't even know about the magic shell, bro? It was. It was a. It was a type of shell. It was a chocolate syrup you poured over. Oh the yeah, absolutely. Well, who the fuck? Could, what do you mean? Let you have it? Like who didn't get that? Well, me. What? <laughs> Why? Was it against Jesus? Like Jesus they doesn't had, like chocolate shells? Well, no, basically anything that my mom didn't like, she just said Jesus didn't like. I mean, you know what I mean? It's like everything. Yeah. Everything. We had peanut butter chocolate or peanut butter shells. We had chocolate shells, strawberry shells. Holy, you're white, saying we you had, put it on there? I, I'm a magic shell. Like, like I was trying to make sure. This, is a, you put this it was there, a dip, and like it, it goes on there, and yeah. then it like hardens. Yeah. Okay. And we had all different flavors. I just saw the commercials. Oh, it was great. And I was like, you know what? Someday I'm not going to deprive my kids of that. <laughs> Have I, you given them to? Oh, once. <laughs> it's okay, but. It, but the, it's a magic trick. It, it, it becomes rigid. Anytime something becomes rigid, I think everybody's on board. The peanut butter one was real good. I can only fucking imagine. Sure you want that to be, be, be clipped. <laughs> <laughs> I, said, I said it so that it would be clipped. No. Magic shell. Oh, the magic, the magic shell. Oh, magic. Oh, see, now I get it. Yeah. Josh is engaging in some sophisticated behavior. But before we continue our ritual, I mean, this thing. A couple things. Yeah, you should bring it over. Is this more Erican delights? This is delights? more Erica, uh, Erica food. This what are is are they custom pies? They are tarts. Um, what are they exactly? They are potato tarts. No, they are apple, caramelized onion, oh. and cheese. Ooh. Oh, savory? Fresh, with some fresh uh, basil. I think I believe, I believe fresh basil and thyme. I'm going to eat the shit out of this. God damn. Oh, see, and, and here's Erica the Mad right here to, to manifest. Ho, ho. See, oh yeah, see, I can smell the onion over here. I mean, that sounds fucking kick ass. That's amazing. It is, but now, Jorash, if you could throw very, very, uh, and then I'm, I'll chow down on this, but th throw it back on the uh, Checromancer real quick. I just want everybody to see what's going on with this fluid. 
Oh, Insi that's dark. Inside, Look at that. Inside the grain bag, it looks like it could mostly be a pilsner. And then the water hits it a couple times and it turns into this evilness. That is going to be great. Dude, it, and it's exactly the right time of year. Like, the truth is, laid up, we need to get our CO2 tanks so that we can yes. tool it up. So but, I, but I'm saying that some of the stuff that we have laid up, we laid up for the dark months. So there's a couple rich, dark, sweet beers. And this is just going to be killer. I mean, dark as it looks, because it's essentially underneath the hood, a, like a classic drinkable Czech Pilsner, it has what we like uh, out of a Pilsner, which is just potability. You can just put them away, but it does have some like some roast and caramel character. Are you gonna want that? Is it that good? Yeah, I have two more. Oh yeah. <laughs> so I think I think dinner is sorted uh, for Eric. Well, you you need to get these minerals back in your body. <laughs> That's what actually has to happen. Oh my goblin! This is the thing you would not know. Like, you, he had a bite and a wave of rich, savory onion goodness. Yeah. Like, I feel like I have had it already, and I have not. No, you haven't. Just from the bite. All right, here. So, listen, if he's got more, yeah, I better drink this. It's just, I got to make sure. It's the only way to be sure. This is like rolling in a canister of CM20 yeah. into the hive, right? Nerve gas the whole fucking nest. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh. Oh, yeah. But it'd be flaky. Oh, yeah. The base is like a nice, like. It's a, uh, what, what do you call it? Uh, pie crust plus. Uh, I forget the name of that damn pastry crust is called. Yes. Puff? Puff. Yep, yep. What? That's like a bread and soup course. Yeah. In one bite. Yeah. That, let me get one bite with the apple and then several more bites. That's good, yeah. Dude, that's like the perfect fall food. Yeah. That it tastes like a harvest. It tastes like this is what you this is what you eat after you have been working outside all day, and we get to have it at noon. Jumping Jesus, Erica, that's nuts. Hey, Juan Junior, thanks so much for the stuff. Now, David Nocat, has there ever been an Earl Grey beer? We messed around I with feel like it. we messed around with some poor. At one point, we messed around with some um, aged, you know, like fermented tea. Yeah. In, in, in inside it, but I don't know that we have ever actually used Earl Grey itself in a beer. I mean, what would happen? Put a bunch of Earl Grey packets in one of the hop containers. I'm. I'm trying to figure it out. My guess is that the bergamot would actually have an, because it's an oil, inside something that it is staying in for a long time. My guess is that it would have some really odd outcomes. Yeah. Well, unexpected outcomes. Well, we've, yeah, I mean, we could put it in secondary. I don't see why not, but. Yeah, as, as long as it was a, like a fixed period of time, you know what I mean? Um, it'd be worth fucking around with for sure. All right. Yeah, that was too good. You gotta, you gotta bring one of those bad boys home. It's not gonna make it home. <laughs> Eating the car. <laughs> okay. So have you seen that? Um, talk amongst yourselves. Have you seen that the OLED Steam Deck? The what? Oh yeah. I gotta get another Steam Deck now. Well, no, I don't think that you do. I don't think that we have to. But the OLED, so bright screen, oh. HDR is in play. Right, the main thing is like the greater battery life too. I mean, for me, it's like the hardware is all the same though, which is nice. Yeah, oh. yeah. Well, oh, and better, better Wi-Fi. That's the other thing. 
Like, like that's that's a nice. Yeah, it I is. don't think it's necessary. Who cares? But I think I've, that's a nice. Any upgrade, I love the Steam Deck. That's a nice bump. Uh, Eric's belief is that the Steam Deck essentially, ob like, removes the need for a console. Like that's that's the console for for Eric. Yeah, basically. What's the point? You can dock it. You can play Elden Ring on it. Like, you need anything more? No, I don't think so. All right. Now, oh, uh, George, one thing for you too. That's something you might enjoy on a stream. Or have you already checked out Cobalt Core? No. It's very Josh. Cobalt, it's like, imagine like a FTL Death Builder type game. Like it's, it, it's the perfect combination of Josh energies, in my opinion. Hmm. 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 Oh, I got one. I got one for you. Oh, yeah? What do you got? Uh, it's, uh, uh, I'll have to look it up in a bit. Yeah, yeah, listen, I'll be here. I'll just be in the room. Aces uh, and Adventures. Oh, yeah. It's interesting, right? Have you actually played it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, really, really played it, like, many times? It's fucking really deep and long. I'm, I big. might not have, I might not have played it to, I thought it was interesting, Played a yeah. few games and then I was, I was like, I'll definitely come back to this because I had gotten it a little bit earlier. Mm -hmm. If you're saying that it just keeps going down, oh yeah, that sounds really cool. Because because my, my my concern when I played it, I was like, this is awesome, it looks good. I don't know where it grows from here, but I'm mm -hmm. down with what they're doing. Huh. You're saying it just unfolds? So you have you know different, you have like seven different characters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you have. <coughs> You can level the characters up. Okay. So you build and spend on things to give them different, better stuff. And yeah. there's like a huge story. Why does my audio keep cutting out? I need to check something. And really? then it also has a Slay the Spire sort of thing. Oh. So it's just got lots of game. Okay. Because uh, I have kicked the Josh, shit. Josh, mute. Oh, yeah. You use them up? No. Nope. I've kicked the shit out of Cobalt Core. So I could yeah. definitely take a break right now and let them add some stuff. The only bad part about Cobalt Core is that it, um, is that the bosses at the Axe right now aren't, you're sort of fighting the same bosses over and over. The deck building and character stuff is where the novel complexity comes from. Mm -hmm. It's actually from deck building and, and how you build your crew and ship. Mm -hmm. And so, it, but it makes the boss part of it feel um, a little rote. But I, I think that's a time thing. I think that that's will actually That's my increase. biggest problem with Inkbound, too, is just You're repeating the same thing. Yeah. I, ink, it's, in my mind, Inkbound just needs more content. Yeah. And, and, but, but you see that Inkbound is actually trying to solve the problem the same way Cobalt Core did by putting the complexity at the character side. Sure. And, but I, I'm not sure that that... I'm not sure that I think that most people quite naturally feel like they're fighting the same boss over and over. <laughs> That's reasonable to me. All right, now um, it's time to create. Okay. Dude, you fucking housed that whole thing. Yeah, I don't know how you've only had two you, bites. Because uh, my mouth is doing other stuff. I just keep talking to these people. Now, um, so here's what we need. Back for the pickle. Back for the pickle again. Yeah, I like the pickle. You're God bless you. Ooh. God bless you. I, I am at the point of this raspberry sour where it is not poison. No, that's pretty good. Now I can taste the raspberry before I just tasted the poison. Now, um, so we do need vibes. Yep. Right? Yep. We need scenes. We need richness. Um, no, not in this particular case, Novacat. Uh, the, the thing that harrows me about sours exists at every level. It, ha it has to, I have to, it's like the, it's like the, um, the litany against fear. Mm. Like I have to build a mind capable of doing it. And you, we've actually made full beers with an attempt just to figure out yep. where the borders are. But every now and then I hit something that is just a little bit more experimental than I've trained myself to do. Yeah. Um, so I know the difference between something that is like a good sour and a bad sour at least, but it takes, it, it, it takes real time for me. 
All right, so Kanan, you like, oh, ghostly clockwork, ghostly clockwork subbing from behind the camera. From what behind a, the camera. What a powerful, what a powerful uh, gentleman. Now, uh, but Kanan says they like, they like in Cobalt Core more to Into the Breach. Yeah, that's fair. Turn-based, you know what the enemy's gonna do. Yep. Now solve the puzzle. It's very, very much in that vein. It feels like something those guys would make, basically. Um, yeah, but you were actually like, you fell off into the breach, I think, because you were too good at it. I I think it's, there's not Wow, enough thanks for spoiling the end of the book, Ghostly. Okay. The fucking spoiler. No. Ghostly the spoiler. Disagree. This is like the agree. This is like the third time he spoiled shit. Okay. Eh, Did I say no, dude. About it? No, no, no. Listen. This no, this is like this is like saying Jesus is crucified in the Bible. We all know that. this is like saying King Kong died. like these aren't spoilers anymore. Uh, people have known about Sanguinius for decades. I didn't know it was going to happen in this uh book. I could have happened in the third book. <laughs> you assholes. <laughs> He's on the cover. Here, that doesn't mean did you, anything. Did you read it? No, I haven't had a chance yet. Let me tell you everything that happens yeah. chapter happens. by chapter. Great. First chapter. No. Um, but the subs are coming from <coughs> inside the house. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no, because I found Into the Breach really interesting, fun mecha slide puzzle upgrade thing. Yeah. And then I saw you play it. like. Like back in the day, in the before times, sometimes I would just like roll back and like sit in the chair by you while you played a game, and you were playing a different game than me where you won all the time. So there's just something about your mind and that and into the breach that allowed you to break it. For me, I found it challenging all the time. I actually, I actually bounced off of it because I found it too difficult, which was well, not the, the issue is, you had. Though, I just need. What was the other game that we were just talking about? Ace is an adventure. No, by um Cobalt Core. FTL. Into the breach, people. FTL. FTL, yeah. FTL yeah. has the randomness that just makes it endless. Whereas Into the Breach does not. Mm. True. True, true, true. Brian I should Jerry tried to go around the breach, that's his problem. Yeah, it's into the breach. It's right in the front. It's right in the name. Um, yeah, a any game that will let me upgrade cards in a run, I can't stop. Uh, that's card crafting. This is why I thought Monster Train is like one of the best games in that variety. So good. Cyberpunk beer. I think that we have done. We tried yeah, to make the. We tried to make the <coughs> El Cheapo. Yeah, we've done corporate, a Yeah. Corporate beer from Cyberpunk. Gosh. Is there a game I'm looking forward to sinking my teeth into this year? Yeah, Battletech. Unplugged. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Battletech is going to be good. Um, and obviously, later this afternoon, of course, we have, as you know, as you well know, um, we have uh, Black Remnant. But Black Remnant also has a game at PAX Unplugged. So if you are an enthusiast um, of Black Remnant or Battletech, you should definitely come and hang out with us while we go through what I'm being told <coughs> is the most exciting mission of all time. Holy shit. Well, no pressure. <laughs> See, this is what I like. I like that every I like that part of the Black Remnant fandom is spelling it incorrectly. Yeah. This is what I like. Oh, yeah. So Brian, there is a game called Cloud Spire. It's from Chip Theory Games. And the thing about Chip Theory games, at least their new games have, are based on a single dice pool. But a lot of their classic games are based around like literal clay chips. Yep. And Brenna bought me a copy of Cloud Spire. And then she tried to carry it around in a bag at the show. That didn't happen. And it was too heavy. Because it's like, it's got to be 30 or 40 pounds. Easily. It's so heavy that... They can't ship it to stores because it lo it'll lose money. Well, and we know that their games are really, really good, but I, mean, I like, they, but they I have like to sell direct, right? I like Hoplomachus more than I like More than I like Cloudspire. It, we, we got very good at Hoplomachus co-op, right? Yeah. But, um, but eventually, so she had to tell me, first of all, she's like, hey, this is your present. It's Cloudspire. I can't carry it anymore. You actually have to carry it yeah. around the show floor. And it, it, it was I mean, a I was doing curls. Like, yeah. I mean, it was, I had to work hard. Now, um, Blork Ramant 
Now, <laughs> Bjork Raymond and oh, yeah, did, I, did, did Bjork Raymond. Now we're talking. How do we get Bjork to come and do a like Dude. opening scene like Bjork Raymond? Yeah. is the sings, best. She sings the theme song. Dude, that would be so amazing. Yeah, it would. Over some weird synths. Yeah. And some tinkly bells. Yeah. All right. Now, obviously, Bjork Raymond is um, an object of worship. I mean, of course, we we think that's great content. Done. We do need a theme for a beverage. Yeah, to and we today. Can't, we can't lose. What's it going to take? What's it going to take to get you into a beer concept today? Let's find out. Solomon Kane. Okay. Bjork. <laughs> yeah, we could do a Bjork. Yeah, it's just ice beer. And ghostly keeps Fuck going. off, Ghostly. Go ghostly keeps pushing. The, 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 uh, the false emperor right here. Yeah, see, Nurgle, you could make a sour for Nurgle and it would make perfect oh, sense. Yeah. Have we done that? No. No, but if you look inside the if you look inside the fermenter when we, when yeah. sours are being made, you Nurgle, might think Nurgle has taken root. <laughs> yeah, why not? All right, Nurgle is a theme. We love it. Death to the enemies of the false <coughs> Oof. All right. Iron beer for Corne. Right? That's it. Alpha Legion. Yeah. That's, that's one of my favorite... That's one of my favorite dumb lore things. What? Is whether or not the Alpha Legion are actually loyalist, is actually a loyalist chapter. That's my favorite fucking crap in that whole dumb thing. That and Armin. That's what gets you? Yeah, because Armin isn't really a part of, he's obviously he's a powerful sorcerer, but he's not really a part of any of the factions. Right. If he, if he, you know what I mean? No. He, he has his own, you shush. No, yeah, mm -mm. yeah. You don't you even. Know what I mean? Here now, Desert Bus. Don't is, fucking spoil this goddamn book for me, you assholes. I'm not saying anything. Desert Bus is actually running right now. In yeah. Fact, that's where, that's where our good friend, uh, Mike Buland, is working the graveyard shift, making sure that their technology functioned correctly. Yeah. Now, uh, Umbra, I, I'm assuming that you are Alfarius. Is that would I be correct? Beer to drink after seeing the horrors of battle. See, now I'm talking about. We're talking about a beer for respite. We can do that. That would not be hard at all. Oh, no, not. Okay, well, understood. That's, oh, <laughs> understood. Right. The IG, as they say, or as they said uh, before. Uh, I, I, I suspect that Imperial Guard is far more difficult to register as a trademark. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. An impossible beer for the Acquisitions Incorporated campaign. An impossible beer? Like, what do we have to make it with? Yeah, fake, fake uh, yeah, I mean, I, listen, ingredients? Yeah, I mean, listen, I'm willing to entertain the possibility of impossibility. Themes. Take a look. <coughs> Gotta make them, it's like super salty. Uh, <laughs> Savory? Yeah. yeah. Super Be high ABD beer, beer with yeah. no Ma flavor. Ma made from yeah. chicken like broth. Water. And they're gonna, they're gonna fake it, and they're gonna make you believe it's healthy for you, but it's actually not. No, it's definitely poison, for sure. Now, have you seen what we're, have you seen what we're releasing on the 17th? No. I'll give you a spoiler. But for some, it's for something cool. I swear to God, if there's a picture of Sanguinius. Yeah, 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 I was going to say, you're never going to believe what happens on the vengeful spirit. Um, hang on a second. Um, there is Black Remnant today. There is, absolutely. 2.30. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Imperial Gourd. <laughs> it's a pumpkin. Gourd. It's a pumpkin flavored beer. That's great. Dude, that would be killer. Yeah. Honestly, I don't mind a pumpkin beer. We we could do a pumpkin beer well. Um.
Mm-hmm. Gone. It's not in here. Well, anyway, freak it. Wow, that's cool. Spoiler. You'd love it. Yeah. You'd you'd freak out if you saw it. Yeah, I'm sure. I'll show. I'll just after this is done, I'll just go physically show you. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Pat Roth has finished the trilogy. That poor bastard. No. Oh, uh, he, did he put out a new book? He did. Or it's not in the trilogy. It's. He's done a couple of these like side, side story things. He's, he's Gr. Martining it. I gotta. I gotta talk to him. Last time I talked to him, he was really sad about it. So I. I kind of gave him a break. So I, I'm gonna. I'll give him a call again this week. Just guess he could probably use somebody to talk to about it. What a weird. What a weird problem. It's like he already wrote these two. Like clearly you can write them. You know. Now did the second book have. A matriarchal colony of sex ninjas? Yes. Did Kvoth get teleported into an infinite forest where he learned fuck magic from a goddess? I mean, yeah, where they all talk in rhymes, this also did happen. But this is a finished book. It's got two covers on it. He's a fucking beast. Obviously he can do it. I'm just trying to figure out what's going on. Like. Is it, is it sort of like, is it sort of like you can't do it while someone's watching? Is it like, is it like, it's, is this the peeing version pressure. of writing a novel? Everyone's looking forward to it, now you suddenly... You can't do it while, you can't do it while people are watching. I think that's what it is. Crystal, it is tricky to rock a rhyme. And also, thank to you rock for... rock a rhyme your, right on time? It's yeah. tricky. Um, thank you for uh, offering up those NZ delights. Uh, I mean, I found it yeah. novel and challenging. Yeah. Um, I, this gentleman can't get enough. Yeah, I love it. I feel uh, closer to, uh, to Taika, Taika Waititi at this boop, moment. Boop, 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 boop. Yep. Yeah. Now, all right. Here. So, like we're uh, impossible. Okay. So now that they've given us the hardest challenge on earth, what the fuck are we? What are we supposed to make an, an impossible beer? Like it, it, this is this is this is what I'm saying. Now we have messed around with like blonde stouts and things like that, but that's possible. You so know what we're I mean? Going to the impossible. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Add a big bag of gelatin. So, what I'm trying to figure out is, are we messing around with something where we take we we swerve on it, like yeast wise, like where we take styles, go hard on styles, and then flip, um, and then on the back end and on the hopping we flip. We we, 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 well, I mean, yeast is a huge, huge proportion of the flavor of a style. Like, they're synonymous. So is it possible to dig deep down in there and get wild? Okay. <clears throat> yeah, Submergical Scrimmer, the Czech IPA. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Although I think Obeck tr certainly tries, right? Would it even be beer? Listen, that's a reasonable question. Eric and I have been to places that claim to be breweries, <coughs> but when you, and, and, and the, the liquid, potable, drinkable products that they make are very good, but I don't 100% know if they're beer. This is like great notion. I don't know if it's like, even like yeah. by raw definition, I yep. don't know if it's a beer. Right. It's so smoothie the stuff. First one is gonna be a Belgian pale ale. Okay. But we're gonna fuck with the hopping and uh, no, no, yeah, it's all going to be off model, right? <laughs> right, Belgian pale ale is ready to go. As a, and, and this is the, you know, the substrate. We're going to be messing around with it for sure. An American amber ale. Soda. We'll do yeah. classics. American amber ale um, is a very, very broad category that we can add all kinds of shit to. <coughs> oh. <laughs> An Irish red. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, so these are all good beds as a basis for experimentation. Lots of these are all pretty broad in their definition, and we can mess around with them. An Irish red typically 
is paired with a very specific yeast that gives it like a chewy malt. But that that that's not going to happen today. No. Today we're going to be going hog wild. We're going to be getting sick with it. As some are said to say. Oh, a lot of interest. People like the Irish. Well, I mean, it, it's a really, Irish red is a really, really great style. Yeah, that's Eric's favorite beer. <clears throat> it just works. Like, it's a classic. Neekman, I am not a Sandersonian. And so, I mean, I feel like it would be wrong. Uh, it, but, but you know what, though? I didn't know about cobble water. You know, and then we ended up making a beer for an imaginary bar in Discworld books. So, yeah, but there's, I, I don't even know where to get started with Sanderson. I've never read any of them. You know what I mean? I, I know that Mike just, like, dislikes him. Oh. I, I don't even think, I don't think as a person. Is it the Mormonism? <clears throat> no, 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 no. Uh, Kara, Kara grew up Mormon. He's oh, okay. quite conversant in that. Um, that's, apparently... You can be a Mormon and he'll still have sex with you. You know what I mean? Like, it's fine. Um, Mike or Sanderson? I think Sanderson's probably down to clown. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> I'm just saying it, it, doesn't, it doesn't keep him from, from getting in the boudoir. Ah. So I, I don't think it's a huge issue, I think the Mormonism. But he, I think when he reads them, he feels like they're too clever. What? He feels, I think that when he reads this Brandon Sanderson book, he feels like Brandon Sanderson is very impressed with Brandon Sanderson. Oh, try hard now. There's a, there's, a couple, there's a couple authors he can't read books from just because he feels like they're like <coughs> over his shoulder saying, all right, you're going to love this next yeah, page. Yeah. <laughs> you're going you're gonna to love this incredible next page. Yeah, they're gonna get, the magic in this place is totally yeah. different. And he just, he can't, Yeah, I get for that. whatever I get, reason, I get that. again, and I'm not saying, I'm not saying that he's right or wrong. I'm just saying that that is just the truth of the style and the sort of book that he's making. Mike just sort of feels like he's just right there with you, um, appreciating himself while you read it. And I, I think that that's like a, a kink or something. He just, that Mike doesn't want to be part of it. Yeah. He doesn't, he doesn't want to be brought into it. Someone got a little Sanderson on his shoulder. Yeah, exactly. He doesn't want to be part of it. Now, Irish Red. He loves Jim Butcher, actually. That's, that's the thing. Like, you never, you never actually know. Like, he's, whatever's going to hit with Mike is actually very difficult to figure out. Okay. Irish Red. Irish. All right, now I'm going to get rid of all the data from the last beer in my guardrails. <clears throat> now, we're starting with ABV historically, right? Yep, so it's usually um, anywhere from 3 or 4% to 5.5, typical. 4 or 5, but we can go 5.5 or 6. Or Yeah. Is this the impossible beer? Like, what the Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Well, we're basically just going to mess around with these styles. You're yep. saying it's 4 to 5.5. Yep. We know where the edge of this might be. It's north. It's north. Can you age this Irish red in a tequila or mezcal cask? We don't have one. But they're not impossible to find. Uh, I think when it comes to impossibility, near the end, we're going to have to figure out a couple twists and put these in the vote. Yeah. <coughs> but they sell those casts you can each separate? No, of course. Yeah. Absolutely. Or you can just get staves. Yep. You can get mm -hmm. staves that are sliced in chunks and can be used in secondary. But then we can't tap it out of the keg. You know, big, <laughs> no, no we need the fucking barrel. Yeah, we need to... There used to be so fun. There was this place. There was the... Um, the pig at um, Whiskey Bar downtown. I, I think that it actually moved or closed or something no, like that. Whiskey Bar still open. Is it good? They, I think they just moved like a block up or something. Oh, like okay. That. But they had like on Wednesdays. I don't know why I was drinking during the day on a Wednesday. You're, drink, you're drinking during the day yeah, on a Tuesday. I mean, what the true, fuck? Yeah, okay. True, true. I guess you're right. But they just had like, it was like a, they called it the pig. Okay. 
and it was just like a little barrel that was like on the bar, and you could try it. Oh. They just had it right there, and you could just try whatever was in the thing. Okay. And I was just like, this is, this is what I want. I want to go to a weird place that just has a mystery barrel with a tap on it. Was it beer or was yeah. it liquor? it was all oh, beer. Okay. Like there, that, that thing was always some novel local beer. Oh, Brianish, it's very interesting actually. Yeah, uh, the Escapist crew, which now goes by the name Second Wind Group. The hell is the Escapist? Esca uh, well, I mean, that's part of the challenge. Escapist is a, a gaming news site that was founded a super, super long time ago. Oh, I don't even remember that. It's okay. traveled through various, you know, it's weathered various storms. Oh, okay. But eventually they, like, fired their lead editor, and it was like the war in heaven. And he's Lucifer. Like, he just drew a percentage of the employees with him. Jesus. And now he reigns in hell. Um, and so the Patreon, last I saw, the Patreon was up to about eight Gs. Damn. So they had over a thousand... Um, supporters and you know zero punctuation. I think I think that he changed the name to fully ramblematic, but Yahtzee's doing his video reviews and yep. I mean everybody knew what to do already. Yeah, yeah. So in, in that in that particular context, Brianish, it, that part is not like the War in Heaven because Yahtzee. I mean not Yahtzee. Excuse me, Lucifer couldn't pull 100% of the angels into hell. He didn't yeah. get all of them. Oh, is he escape the gamer gig uh, company? Or, no, well, or that broke? Yes, it, it was one of the places where discussion... First started? Yes, exactly right. Yes, now you remember that correctly. Yeah. That is, that is what happened. Yotsifer. Yeah, this is the, the Dead Sea Scrolls. Right here. So of course they want six. So in our new, in our new regime, I think that we'll, we'll try to put weirder, stranger numbers up there. Irish red, obviously, you know, is is called so for a very specific reason that has to do with its SRM. Yeah, because it's between nine and eighteen. If you want to put that scale up there. Yeah. Josh. So. It might be time to mod. Ooh, why is that doing that? What's it doing? Oh, weird! It's, a, it's an ancient signal. All right. Um, so nine eighteen. I'm gonna go up. Why won't you go down? Nine more. Yeah. I mean, or up? No, I think up both. and down. Yeah. I think both. I think I think we put in a two for a really weird one. And then I think we put in a, what is it? A 27. <coughs> yeah. Just, just to in expand Ooh. the boundaries of the real. Oh, hey, we, couldn't we just do it? Couldn't we have just done like a sanguineous beer? We could have. Oh, okay. Could have. Um, I was worried that you'd be exposed to certain facts, yeah. which are not yet in evidence. Now, um, have you ever read any Stephen Brust? No. Ah, Stephen Brust was. You would like it a lot. Oh, okay. Stephen Brust. It's a really, really interesting series. Uh, starts with Jerig, I think, but basically, that really familiar. You, I, mean, I, I, it's, I think it's because I've pushed it on you and yeah. I'm drunk before. But it's essentially it's it's about a world where resurrection is commodified. Oh, okay. And so murder is just a mode of communication. <laughs> and okay. so it's it's, a, it's about an assassin that lives in this world. You might kill someone just to let them just to make sure that they know <laughs> where that they you stand. mean business. Yeah. And that's like the most basic concept in it. It's just about a, a human assassin in a world of elves, basically, huh. and, and how his outsider status allows him to sort of creep around the social castes. It's really fucking good. 
Oh yeah, Jux, this is why I'm bringing it up. It's a perfect combo, right? Hey, all right, so they are looking for a pretty deep, yeah, rich uh, take on an Irish red. Okay. At 27. So this is, this is, I mean, what we can, <coughs> oh, this, okay, now I'm in. God damn it. Now I'm in. Because now, because we got to get to that SRM, that's all going to get hit differently by these yeasts. Yep. Right, so... Now you're looking for the you're looking for the the Ebu. Yep, eighteen to twenty-eight is the typical. Eighteen. Yeah, murder for hire is part of the gig economy. Yep, agreed. Agreed, Flax. All right, so we're gonna go way off style here with one of these options. Dude, jugs. It was the hottest shit. So, Brust, he's like a, you know what I mean? When I say weirdo, I mean yep. just like in a affectionate way. Okay. Like SCA tier. Like what the, the sort of dude who would like roll into camp and he's got a loot. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yep. And so he's rocking the storyteller vibe. Sure. So, in addition to the series I just described, yep. he has a series written as fiction by a character in the first books that is a historical fiction in their era. What? It's a book that is an actual book. It's diegetic. Oh, okay. It's a book that is an actual book. Oh, you just book. learned that word. Good. Yeah, I did, from Jason. Yeah. Um, but I'm saying that it's a book that is a real book in world, but he has, it has a, it's, because it was written so long ago, it has a completely different mode of diction. It's essentially a fantasy Three Musketeers. And it is fucked. Like, it's one of, it, like, it is some of the most fun I have ever had reading a book. Where I'm, like, reading an adventure book and I'm like, yes! Yeah! Like, 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 I'm like, woo! Like, to a book. Wow. Okay. That's, that's impressive, yeah. Not mean? Parfy. Yeah, exactly, right? Yeah, he's a fictional author. <laughs> and yeah. he's just a fucking jackass. Just a fucking complete jackass. <laughs> what? And so the book is written like it was written by a jackass. In a It's fucking so good. It's like it's worth reading the main series so you can read the historical fiction that is a book in the setting. That is the weirdest shit that I want to be <sighs> part of it. Anyway, 18. Okay, so uh, with this, we're gonna look at uh, Turo, Maris Otter, and Copeland Pale. Turo, Crisp Clean. Crisp and Clean, Maris Otter is gonna be more bready, and uh, Copeland's gonna be sweet. What does Maris Otter mean? From Fraser. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, now here's our base grin. And I see Lestrange uh, made manifest here in the chat. Fox what a pleasure. Leo, great. Great reference. Maris Otter. I, this is the year, dude. I'm gonna this, get. I'm gonna get you to watch this goddamn I movie. I am in. We're gonna actually watch it. Is it on Prime? Because we could do a it's fucking be a group million watch. Ways. It's probably on. No, no, no. You know how you could do the group watches? Oh, watch wow. live. Yeah. Now we're gonna sit here on a couch. Talking. We're gonna pop some popcorn. Get some peanut brittle. Pajamas. Have some hot, hot cocoa. Yeah, yeah. Lestrange, this is like Mike's favorite thing, and then. Also, Eric's favorite thing. Like, Mike has been telling me about it for years. This is what they do, like, at his, at his clan. Now, on mine, well, listen, if it's on, if, if it's on Prime, that's perfect. That means it, it hooks right into the, yeah. the watch party system, yeah. right? Um, but, no, what, what I really like is 
Well, uh, okay, we'll, we'll watch Emmett Otter. But I mean, our new tradition at, at my house is what we call Christmas filth. And that's like Hallmark, like the shittiest romance movies. And we, we, we do not watch them. We talk the whole time. Like in my family, we basically are comp, like we're basically like MST 3 k these romance movies. And it is fucking good times. I think we watched eight. Let's go to Emmett Otter. Last Christmas. No, no, Emmett Otter sounds like it's good. Yeah, you can watch it that eight times instead of Christmas filth. Well, we'll watch that. And then we'll watch seven Christmas filth. Nope. Maris Otter. Four they, four. They want that. It's got to be half and half. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, Maris Otter, readier. Richer. Faster, stronger. Oh. Yeah, and so Lestrange, the, my larvae have never actually seen the stop motion animated Christmas ones just because they're beyond, you know, it's like when I grew up, they were just on TV all the time. Like you, you couldn't not watch them. Like, yeah. good luck. If you have a television, it's on. Yes. <laughs> um, and so they haven't seen that because we have these other rituals, but they gotta see them. They gotta see that, that Rudolph. It's so smooth and clean. It's just so friendly. Oh, exactly. This, Floster, this is, this is what I'm saying. This is the year. So we got Emmett. We got to catch up. I got to educate these teens. The, no, the ref we watched last year, Adrian. I caught him up on the ref. That, that was well-received family-wide. But they they really like Home Alone. Uh, Home Alone, I think, is very empowering for the youth. Ironically. All right, so we've got the bready richness of Maris Otter, and we have a a crazy pants SRM, an impossible SRM, if you will, certainly for the Irish red style. No, so Dennis okay. Leary is real. We're gonna use brown malt. This is gonna give us some- Brown malt? This is one choice. It's biscuity and toffee flavor. Ooh. I've never even heard of brown malt. I don't think that's in my, I don't think that's <coughs> in my library. That's some kinky shit. All right. Or some crystal malt, which is gonna give us some caramel flavor. Are, are those two? Hold on. Ta talk amongst yourselves. Nice toffee. Yeah, wow. Oh, 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 oh. What? The Whoa, vortex. it's back. The vortex. Okay, no, obviously, all you prognosticators, all you, all the there. hair specs, get in here and, and you know, make your bets. Thunder. Thunder. You, <laughs> buddy. <laughs> Party Kiko just comes right out with it. <laughs> Motherfuckers. See, see, Thunder Nimbus is like, I gotta play this cool. Yeah. Party Gecko is like, fuck it, here we go. Yeah, yeah. Bring up Fisher, baby. On. All right, now, um, so brown malt, crystal malt, roasted barley. Ooh. It's so coffee, right? Coffee, yeah. Ooh. Oh, that could be really nice. Again, as the dark months uh, roost upon the throne of the earth. Yeah, and these are all very, the best part about this is that these are all gonna get us to the impossible color that's outside the style, but they all do it in novel, unique ways that really wouldn't be in there, especially the, the, the coffee and toffee. Yes, exactly, Pearl. I can't, I, I, I'm a big fan of the word. What, toffee? No, oh. hair specs. Oh. Grain function collapse. Oof. Brown malt, man, I'm tantalized. 
<coughs> Hold on. What? Josh, you. I think this is a TOS violation. Naked oats! Naked oats, Josh? Yeah. You pervert. Naked oats. Pretty sure it's. <laughs> well, let's see. Naked oats. Okay, so. So not toasted, right? Yeah, yeah totally. It's just the, um, oh yeah. Just oats? That's exactly what you expect. Yep. Mm hmm. Basically, yeah. it's oats. Well, it's basically the flat pinhead oat. It's like um, McCann's Irish oatmeal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but, it, but again, it, it, everything else we know about it completely tracks. Sugar content, it's not there. Body head retention, yes. Even in my mouth. Huh. But are they sweet? They are not. Brown malt. They're drawn in. Okay. They can't get enough. Black hole is fucking crazy. The yeah, Disney one? Is, yeah, it, we, we watched the two days and we were like, what is this? It's madness. Scary robot. It, it's, it's so weird. Disney was on a, Disney was on a, a weird some other shit. Like, what was the ABV again? The ABV is six. Okay. And now so the, the next beast. vote is going to be one of the remaining two or none. Okay. So we're getting rid of that brown malt. No. And we're adding a no volume. Grin. All right. Yeah, Nova Cat being drawn in. Sucked in. Uh, to that toffee flavor. Now, Zweck. Yes, Maximilian. First of all, kick-ass name. Scary robot. Scary looking robot beast. Real fear. But look at these grains plumping up. Yep. I mean, over the period of time that, it, that they have been going like to work. 25% increase. Yeah, easy. right? Just, there's just a tiny little place over on the right side for the work. Yeah. Adrian, I feel like this is a sophisticated pun. If you're actually talking about, if you're actually talking about horticulture, I'd be surprised. Yes, Umber, how can I help? <coughs> I'm right there. Attention has been seized. Seized. Oh, so interesting. When is the next Acquisitions Incorporated game on the Yub Tub? Well, I've got great news for you. The next Acquisition uh, Incorporated game, well, certainly I think the person who actually uploads them might be here. Uh, they go up on Wednesdays, right? Yeah, they go up on Wednesdays. I yeah. wonder if they're, if you, they've been, we have another site that's just for acting oh. stuff. Maybe you don't know about it. Yes. They've so, been going up there. Yes. So. Umbra, also check the Acquisitions Incorporated specific yub tub if the timing is no so good. And obviously we have uh, oh, L'Estrange here to hook you up as well. You've been missing out. See, now you know exactly what's going on. So you, you go check it out. episodes now, to catch up on. Exactly. Now, and what's more, is that we also have another really, really great show uh, that goes up at 5 on Tuesdays called Seattle by Night. Um, Seven. And we're only a couple it's, episodes. It's that? live at five. Live at five. And then goes up on YouTube at seven. And then there you go. Okay, so the same day. Yes. Very, very easy. No, you, no it's, it's, it's relatively brand new, Umbra. That's why. That's why. It's okay. So you can go grab whatever you want. Obviously, Lestrange is dishing it up here 100%. And if you go to ac-inc.com, a lot of that kind of stuff you're going to see in there as well. But, but also, the, the website is really, really funny. <laughs> But the main thing is, 5 p.m. Tuesdays, Saturday night, really, really good show, um, and it's only just started up. There's only a couple episodes up of this season so far. Easy to secure. Now, all right. So it's between roasted barley and no. 
but my finger is already poised like the stinger of a scorpion. And it's it's ready. It's ready for anybody to break ranks. At any time. They say no. No, okay. All right, so that's so so the guts of that are pretty nice. Yep. Brown malt pale. Okay, so hops. Or we're gonna use Idaho Seven because that makes no fucking no, sense. No, no, no. Idaho Seven is like about stone fruits yep. and um, tropical, right? Yep. And El Dorado. Now, how would we distinction? How do, how do we make a clear distinction between Idaho Seven and El Dorado? Uh, I, feel like, I feel like they they apply some of the same ground. El Dorado is going to be pineapple, pear, watermelon. Ah. Uh, Idaho 7 is mango and grapefruit. There we go. And a little bit of pine. Mm-hmm. There was some really crazy Idaho 7 fresh hop. Yeah, neither of these are both insane. These are both insane offerings for an Irish red. Yeah. You guys wanted it. Well, you're getting it. No, this is going to be. Yeah, Umbra, how cool is that website? <laughs> the old classic. And then, uh, uh, hey, Lima. No, so the old classic at Kink site also has the little mascot. It has Inky, the little. Sigil oh, yeah. mascot. He's got lots of different quotes down at the bottom depending on the page. So enjoy. I had a really, really good time writing all those, but that 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 design is a blast. You can see some animated GIFs from the 3D shit. It's so dumb. <laughs> Crimson. Good to see you. Good to see you. Yeah, typical through, and the best part about that is, I mean, the designer is just, we had other weirder ones too. We had ones that were even older internet, like mostly text and just frames. But it's not, you want like, this is the right one. This is the right one. No, Inky is, Inky is not something that we, Inky is not something we have leveraged in merchandise. Why not? But look, I'll talk to the designers. I'll see if any of them are inspired Talked to three times, right? That's, By Inky, but that would be a, but that would be it'd be great on the on the D six. Yeah. The whole idea is that he's sucked. <coughs> the, the whole idea is that he's bound there by magic. Like yeah. he hates. He actually is in perpetual torment. I know we're not branding that particular thing, but I think it's a good idea. It's never. Occurred, I didn't know anybody liked him. I just thought he was weird and dumb. He's great. That's why we like him. Yeah, uh, El Dorado. So the most insane. Hop. What was our bitter? The bittering is actually kind of novel here at um, 18. Okay. Cool. So it's not going to overpower. Like, that's going to be really neat. All right, now we have bizarre yeast choices, but weirdly enough, because of the rest of the odd decisions, there might be something to say for the Irish red yeast because it's going to hit this in a different way. Nope, we're going to go with the Belgian Trappist. What the fuck? Or a Belgian ale yeast. <laughs> Belgian ale, so for like for yep. like novel character? Yep. Like wild tastes? Yep. Like banana clove bubblegum? Yep. And uh, also the American ale too, uh, which is going to be clean, tart, and nutty. Oh, so the opposite of the chewy malt. Yeah, the opposite of, oh yeah. Clean, tart, nutty hitting off of the edge of some of those darker malts. Belgian ale with some, man, these are, they are insane, but they're insane, but they are interesting. Gosh, mute. Crimson Kernite, it is the impossibility. Oh. The impossibility is so represented in uh, the Acquisitions Incorporated series, the next episode of which goes up tomorrow. And then, of course, with a all-live finale, 
with maybe the biggest table we've ever had in Acquisitions Incorporated. Yeah, it's insane. It's, it's the Avengers. 32 people. It's the, <laughs> there's a horn section. Yeah. Some of them are beasts. More than we had for Waffles in? Well, but that was that was two full Tom, tables. Tom, fucking spoilers, man! Jesus Christ! That was that was that two was, full that was two full tables. That was years ago. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it's big. <B. laughs> Did you get him cranked up, dude? They want the wild taste. They are choosing the madness. This is they insane. are. Pre, they are bringing it in. They are focusing, and they're manifesting. All right, now. Sure, you guys chose this. Now that we have the yeast. You did this. Uh, yeah, just remember you asked for it. Now, we need impossible beer names. I mean, I assume this is going to be impossible. <coughs> is that, is that going to be in there? All right, let's see. Looking for the premium names. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Parabox. Ooh. That's kind of nice. Unbelievable. Wow. Contra Drunction. Obrulisk. That's nice. Parabox, yeah, we got that one in there, EMW. Impossible. Oh no. What? It, oh. what did Something happened. How in the flight? I don't know how. <laughs> Something happened. I'm not proud. It's not of even it. like you get the same mic every week. No, I, I am the, the common factor. Anomaly. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my God, Rex, I just read that like fucking. Uh, Impossibilities. Yeah, I read, but I read it like uh, that SNL skit, the Jeopardy, Celebrity Jeopardy. Oh, oh, yeah. Like Sean Connery? Yeah. Wicked Beast Juice. It makes sense now, it sounds. English Blue Stout. You dork. Uh, now it sounds it's impossibility. And it is, legitimate, it is legitimately crazy. <coughs> All right, now take a look at these. You Wicked Beasts. Um, and then, of course, we are going to radically reconfigure this space we're going to transform it into an arena of war. Um, and, and also a surprising amount of feelings. Yeah. Uh, last Shit's episode. Gotten real. Last episode, very uh, feelings oriented. Yeah. Um, it could happen again. It could happen again as we ride the shoot down to our live game at Unplugged. Who knows what might occur? Who can, who can say? If I both theme the beer and name the beer, do we? yes, absolutely. Are you close? Is it happening? Is it Parabox or Parabobox? Parabox. Parabobox. And that is it. Para box. Now, um, like I say, we're, you were in a, when you uh, return to the stream, um, or simply endure, but at 2.30, <coughs> you will find this arena radically reconfigured. Uh, we're gonna move all of our brewing equipment over there, and then inside here will become a place of uh, contemplation of uh, our moral nature as, as human beings. Yep. And then also occasionally 
battles between giant robots. Yep. Uh, the ship is finally fixed. We're theoretically on our way to our next destination. I think we went to Kentucky. Old Kentucky. Old Kentucky. Trying to stock up, trying to get supplied on our way um, to what might, by the time we get there, end up being a front of an actual war. Um, so I'm super excited to find out. Me, Eric, Keek, all right here uh, in a radically reconfigured context. Uh, but for now, I'm gonna seize the machinery of the universe, send you away briefly, uh, and then invite you back at 2.30. Don't go nowhere. Huh, yeah.